Hello, Shuddha. <laughs> Welcome to Fine. the Swibi Spotlight series. Right. So, Shuddha, who who I'm I am addressing as Shuddha is actually Shuddha Swato Basu. Uh, he is an Indian author, feature illustrator, uh, and he's also an animator. Uh, he studied fine arts at the Government College of Arts in Kolkata. and he began his career as an illustrator for the children's magazine target uh he's illustrated several children's books uh the song of the scarecrow uh, written and illustrated by him received the chitrakatha award and a special mention at the biennale of illustration bratislava slovakia in 2003 um he has conceptualized and illustrated many titles for the national book trust Uh, such as whatever you give and ravan's remedy for preschool children uh, his works include uh, this oh this, this is a very beautiful book he did for kushwant singh uh, called nature watch delhi through the seasons and his work in car the story of garuda which was retold by geeta dharmarajan um, and uh, sudoda also designed and directed uh, a television serial for children uh this is for kids who like grew up in the 80s who definitely remember gaya baya uh so it was actually designed uh, by uh, shuddha uh, this was uh, telecast on doordarshan uh, and i think it made its first telecast in in the 90s shuddha yeah, like 1990 yeah, yeah in 1990 so that's a bit about shuddha and he'll uh uh Oh, we learn more subsequently from him through this conversation <laughs> so shudada let's start by uh, like where did you grow up well uh, my parents uh, migrated from uh, east bengal okay. a couple of months before uh, 1947 partition and the mm. family was settled down there is a small town called chandan nagar it is the west bank of ganga uh, close to kolkata mm-hmm. so i was born there in 1956 and my schooling and my childhood everything uh, happened there chandan nagar mm-hmm. and uh, what was uh, what was schooling like did you enjoy school at all <laughs> um school was okay okay sort of thing i was not a bright student that way but uh, uh, i was very much into uh, drawing and painting since yeah. that time. Mm. so all my schoolmates they do remember and they even today they confess that we knew that one day you will be an artist so yeah. i was so bad so bad in other subject so i, I had no other option to be <laughs> so did you uh, join art college straight uh, right after school no let me tell you one thing uh, how it how it happened my uh, mm. my mother was a gifted woman she was very much interested in art and literature mm. she was a homemaker uh, but uh, even then she was she was very good at uh, doing rangolis now okay. unlike south india traditionally in bengal we give rangoli with a rice flour paste mm. a liquid form so she is very good at it and i learned those things from her that is the beginning okay mm. now chandanagar it was a french colony till mm. 1950 like pandit mm. so chandanagar was very culturally active place mm. since those days mm. now it had a lot of uh, sunday drawing classes mm. and these classes are not like uh, hobby centers mm. those, those are proper drawing and painting training schools mm. man, um, managed by very trained artists mm. so when i was uh, 12 years old i asked my mother uh, i wanted to join one of those uh, schools mm. and uh, despite uh, the financial constraint you know after post partition all families are going through she agreed 
Mm. She also bought me a piece of uh, plywood for my drawing board. Mm. You, I mean, slightly damaged or soiled drawing paper, which she got uh, in the mid, a pencil. And it is that's all she could provide me, and that's how I started going to Sunday drawing classes. Mm -hmm. And I was in, uh, you know, I, I was in good hands. Mm -hmm. uh, my teachers there were all art college pass out, mm -hmm. so right from the day one, mm -hmm. the training I received was very much proper and correct way. Mm -hmm. So it's very important. I mean, anybody who is going for a training, mm. uh, if he or she gets the wrong inputs, mm. then later on it becomes a difficult thing to mm. erase them. Mm. So that way I'm very, I was very lucky mm. that you know, I got mm. people who knew me. Yeah. But in fact, throughout my life, yeah. I got people around me, they're very, very yeah. good nice people, able to. Yeah. So, uh, so this was this must have been in the 1950s. Uh, that uh, I was 12 years old that time, so yeah. that means um, say uh, late 60s. Yeah, late 60s. yeah, yeah. I passed out from uh, from a school in 1972, hmm. and then one of my teacher from that art school asked me, request my mother to send me to art college okay. and that's how I catapulted from from yeah. Chandanagar one small yeah. town to yeah. big metropolis like Calcutta. Okay, okay. So uh, at that point, uh, were you aware that there were careers or were you looking at becoming a painter? No, no. In fact, a lot of my relatives, uh, they opposed. Okay. They told my mother, they told my mother, what are you doing? This This boy will be uh, we'll have nothing to eat. So, but my mother was somehow, uh, you know, and that's why I, I, I respect her. She, she knew what, ex she knew what could have happened, you know, somehow, I mean, I don't know. Mm. But she, she was always uh, keen that I do mm. things that are very creative. Mm. Mm. Right. Thanks to her. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, so then you joined the government college in Calcutta. I studied fine arts, uh, painting, printmaking, and mural. Okay. 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 And there I got the best teachers one can ask mm. for. Mm. You know, my mural teacher, methods and material, and mural teacher was Ganesh Alui. Mm. And uh, my painting teacher was Vikas Vatachi Maria. Oh, okay. And my printmaking teacher was. Harindas, mm. the legendary. So you have the greats teaching you. <laughs> Lalu Prashad Shao, Lalu sir was our uh, fundamental teacher in fundamentals. Okay, and, right. You know, grounding happened there. Yeah. You know, once uh, he was so angry because we were doing all kinds of, you know, they typically, uh, you know, uh, throwing uh, waterproof ink uh, on a wet paper yeah. and then put some some lines here and there. Mm. And making making trees very easy thing to do. Mm. So one in one um, uh, submission, we all submitted that kind of uh, sketches, and uh, Lalu sir was so furious. <laughs> he stormed into the classroom, and he said, "The next submission onward, we don't want to see this art college ka tari. Tari means <laughs> that you know that watery juice." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we were barred to submit anything for two years. Mm. Anything which is wet medium, done in mm. with wet medium. Mm. Mm. So it was all pen and pen, pen and ink, okay. uh, pencil for two years. Mm. And even it is such a rigorous training. Right. Till now, uh, it gives you, it develops a sense of uh, a tone mm. so well. Mm. That uh, you, throughout your life you remember it. Mm. Yeah. 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 Um, it was Lalu Shah who was yeah. feeling really yeah. had to go through that kind of rigorous academic training. Yeah. It was good. The art college atmosphere was very good. Yeah. Very cordial. Yeah. And uh, the teachers were very supportive. Mm. And a lot of people from Mopasal, they come and they, uh, 
study there. So right. there's no problem. Yeah. Uh, even seniors, we learned a lot from our seniors. Mm. The senior junior interaction during those days uh, was so good right. that most of the mm. tricks, the uh, trick of the trade, we learned from our seniors. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, so, so you you specialized in painting uh, at uh, the Fine Arts College. Yes, that's okay. very fine arts. Yeah. yeah. So were you working after that or did you, uh, were you always, uh, you were a freelancer for a bit and then you started? Um, initially, I joined an ad agency there in Calcutta. Oh, okay. Okay. But uh, I was not happy at all. Mm. You know, that kind of illustration, as an illustrator, I joined. Yeah. The kind of illustration I was supposed to do there. Mm. Mm, most of the days I was, uh, I was absent. Mm -hmm. and, uh, in the meantime, I came to Delhi without letting them, um, uh, without informing them. Uh, came to Delhi uh, to exhibit my paintings. Okay. And when I I liked Delhi that time. It was mm -hmm. a, uh, I mean, uh, you know, unlike Kolkata, it was a, a very peaceful, uh, mm -hmm. sleepy hamlet. Mm -hmm. And uh, I I loved this place. I wanted to shift here. Mm. But uh, by the time I went back after the exhibition, I saw one uh, reminder and then a sacking letter. And in the meantime, uh, what happened? Uh, my mother uh, uh, died, mm. and so I didn't have any uh, any you know any responsibility there anymore. Mm. So then I decided to. Uh, come to Delhi. Hmm. The first place I joined, uh, that was Delhi Press. Hmm. Again, as an illustrator. Yeah. I was working for illustrating for Caravan. Okay, and, uh, those, yeah. In those yeah. days, like this was yeah. Pia Sudhada? It was uh, uh, 19, I joined the Delhi Press 1st January 1981. Okay. Okay. And 27th December 1980, I shifted to Delhi. Hmm. That is hmm. So after six months, and by that time, I started freelancing for Target. Okay. Because Rajli knew me, because previously, one year back, when I came with my exhibition, Pulagda uh, sent me uh, with a recommendation uh, to send me to Rosalind with a recommendation. Okay. This is then Rosalind Fernandez. Ros Rosalind Wilson. Vincent, she was, sorry, no, yes, she, yes, correct. She was, the, she was the editor for Target magazine. Yes. Okay. So Rosalind told me that time, if you ever come to uh, Delhi, uh, please contact us. So once I joined Delhi Press, I contacted her, and she was giving me uh, uh, freelance work. The one comic strip I was doing that time with Renuka Narayan, uh, it was based on history. It's called, and the title was, It Happened in History. Yeah. So Renita used to write uh, scripts. Yes. And uh, I, was the, I was the artist. Yeah. So yeah. after six months, I joined Target. And Target is the actual, really the place where I grew. You know, yeah. I, I, my all grooming as a professional happened there. Mm. I'm so grateful to all those people, mm. Roslyn and right. uh, Vijaya Ghosh. She was the editor of mm. Children Book Division. Mm. So, and other people. The, interestingly, you know, in Delhi, I haven't got any design or any artist as my mentor. Mm. You know, whatever happened, it happened with all those great editors. Mm. You know, I was very, uh, I was always like to interact with them, listen to them. See, I mean, one, once I stepped out from my community, everything was happening around me was something new. Mm. Every day, every moment, I was learning something which I, I didn't know before. Yeah. Mm. A new culture, new life, mm. new attitude. Mm. Everything is new. Mm. Technically, everything is new. Mm. And then, mm. for the design part of thing, I got somebody who is stalwart, mm. who is 
His name is uh, Arvind Patel. Mm. Mm. Arvind Patel was the art director at that time okay. in India today. Mm. Yeah. And I used to consult with him about the designing because okay. I joined Target as a chief designer as okay. well as an administrator. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I was doing all the layouts and everything. Mm. Designing. Mm. And plus the illustration. Mm. Uh, so Arvind Patel once told me that, look, since you are from fine arts, you know, you have the basic, uh, uh, you know, mm. the basic visual uh, communication uh, very well. Mm. But there are technical things, yes. There are technical things I had to understand that time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he told me that if you want to learn typography, and typography was the uh, was one of my weakest point. Mm -hmm. So he said to uh, me that if you want to learn typography, first become a calligrapher. Mm -hmm. So he gave me the book, and one book it had everything about calligraphy. Mm -hmm. You know how to use a nib, how to make your own nibs. You know, it was a fascinating book. Mm -hmm. So um, in daytime, I I used to go to Target, mm -hmm. and uh, once I come back at night. Mm. Some sometimes I, I I didn't I didn't realize that whole night I was doing writing again and again you know perfecting my calligraphy and it was uh, I, I mean suddenly I realized that it was morning mm. you know, so uh, I, I when I remember those days it was uh, it's good that I tried I tried mm. to learn things yeah. it's, uh, it was not there in Mm. in college curriculum mm. Mm. Um, but uh, yeah. it's good yeah. it's and there were absolutely no shortcuts to there's no absolute sorry. no 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 there's no shortcut uh, to uh, um, academic rigor yeah. you have mm -hmm. to learn things right mm. you know these days the common perception is the academic learning is a bad thing you know but uh, i don't see that yeah when i was in college we had we had gone through a uh, terrible rigorous uh, in academic training yeah. but we also informed about caution about the pitfall of academic training mm. i tell you what because what acharya told me when we were in fifth year mm. he told us look Whatever you have learned in this five year, five years, it will take another five years to forget it, mm. and only then you mm. may call yourself an mm. artist. You may. Mm. There is no guarantee. Mm. So uh, nowadays, I I don't think it is right to say that academic academic training uh, makes you a uh, non creative. Mm. You know, creative. Uh, uh, excellence and yeah. academic training this academic training actually provides you a foundation where your your creative mm. expression goes I, I'm assuming at Delhi Press you were doing mostly editorial work for uh, yeah for grown ups uh, for grown ups so did you yeah. feel a change when you uh, moved to Target that this was something uh, that you had to do something different not really. I mean, this is something amazing. Uh, I mean, whatever the uh, the job uh, demands, yeah. I always feel very comfortable, mm. at ease. Mm. You know, mm. even when I started doing animation, I never. It was the technical aspect and all those things I had to learn. Mm. With uh, there's a lot of uh, difficulties in that, mm. but. I, 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 I never felt that it was something terrible that I mm. can do, mm. I shouldn't do. Mm. Mm. The same thing happened even later part, in during 90s, 92 to 96, these right. four years, yeah. I worked for Business Today. Okay. So business Today, uh, worked for Business Today as a freelancer, as a contributor, mm. Mm. and Fort Monthly Magazine. Mm. It was all about financial aspect. Mm. I had no idea. Mm. About that, so I nothing yeah. I <laughs> about the financial economics and financial aspect of, I mean, at that level. But even then, I churned out so many illustrations. 
you know i used to do a um, um, column called uh, the lead column mm-hmm. illustration for the lead column editorial illustration for the lead column mm-hmm. called um, uh, what it is i forgot the name uh, well i forgot the name those are the uh, those are the big illustration two third mm-hmm. of the of a double page spread mm-hmm. and i have to churn out two illustrations every month mm-hmm. so you can really imagine for four years Yeah. How many illustrations I have done? Apart from that, with a small illustration for the editorial, other cover stories. Mm. So, uh, you know, I never felt uh, yeah. uncomfortable. Mm. Uh, so, with any yeah. kind of job. Yeah. So it was easy for you to switch between uh, yeah. genres uh, very easily. Yeah. Easily, yes, yeah. yes. So that's that's why when people complain, yeah. I, I I simply can't I don't understand. Did you think that when you were working on uh, a magazine like that, that it would have such an influence on so many children? Uh, or we? Uh, uh, there are a lot of yeah. lot of letters to the editor used to come. Mm. I mean, very interesting. Yeah. Mm. Roslyn rarely put the uh, on the credit line. and target is the only magazine where the illustrator's uh, name yeah. uh, uh, used to come along with the name of the author yeah yeah so and she uh, it was a kind of policy she made that never put the full name of the illustrator so uh, my f- name was s h not s h s u d d h a Now okay. it sounds so dumb, so dumb. <laughs> so I used to get letters so, uh, addressing Sudha Aunty. <laughs> it was oh. so funny. But anyway, <laughs> I love those. <laughs> Lot of letters used to come yeah. to editor, the Sudha Aunty yeah. and uh, yeah. kinds of things. Also, again, at Target, there were so many of your contemporaries who were equally like you know. Uh, brilliant one of them yeah ramarajan atnu this hamate yes this hamate he was a hallmark you know yeah and um, you know so many other illustrators like joyanto 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 yeah. um, they are they were doing that uh, garvad gardab das yeah you know there are so many uh, you know uh, interesting people are all around nita mm. ramarajan was there Uh, as an editor, right. Uh, you know, if you know her, uh, this uh, Rupa Gupta, she was yeah. the Mira Gohu. Mm. So these these were absolutely the chain of the people. I mean, kind mm. of mm. nice people. Yeah. yeah. The project atmosphere was very homely. Mm. And I today's uh, when I look around and I see. the kind of cutthroat competition even within within uh, you know each uh, um, organization mm. then i i really missed target mm. as in doing of my world really it was it was target yeah. that um, that um, that, I, um, yeah. that i know i don't know this world then <laughs> good, uh, good old days right. <laughs> <laughs> what sala was there Watsala was there, yes. <laughs> so yeah. Now, um, um, uh, this um, uh, Renuka was there. Uh, uh, Manjula was there. Yes. Mm. There's yeah. so many, so many talented people. Right. Yeah. Okay. When did you start uh, uh, making your own books, as in uh, illustrating for picture books? uh during target i started uh, illustrating books yeah okay so the my, my first book uh project was given to me by national book trust mm. and that book is still uh in print okay. i mean it's it's, it's available yeah and it's a disaster <laughs> it's literally a disaster even i don't mention the name of that book once i told them i stopped this uh, <laughs> Painting this book, I'll I'll redo this entire book free. Okay. Mm. But um, you know, the NBT people typically they say "dala chhodo." I mean, 
leave it. Yeah. Uh, after all, it is selling. Yeah. Let it go. <laughs> so that book, uh, but the second book, it was given to me by Vijaya Ghosh okay. from Children's Book Trust, Thompson mm -hmm. Thompson Press Children's Book Trust. Mm. That one I was in Tadu. Mm. This is a, a black and white uh, illustration, uh, brush and ink, mm. written by Margaret Bhatti. It's okay. called The Traveling Companion. Traveling Companions, that was my second book. Okay. Mm. But I was uh, continuing. After that, I did another book for Children's Book Trust. That was by Raskin Bond's, uh, by Raskin Bond, uh, To Live in Magic, the book of poems. Mm -hmm. no, that was a very good. And those there I used oil, okay. oil, oil on. Yeah. On the yeah. Uh, so I have been, uh, I was doing, uh, 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 I had been doing illustration, uh, book illustrations for children since mm. Target. So, and when did Gaia Baya happen? Was that uh, uh, just after Target? Just In fact, I left Target. I left Target because to do of Gaya Baya. Yeah. How did that come about? See, uh, like all uh, child, you know, I always had a, a desire uh, to become one of those, uh, become an Indian Disney sort of kind of stuff. It was there. And uh, what happened in the meantime, while I was in Target, one of my friends introduced me to uh, there's a there's a production house called Studio Effect. Uh, the owner uh, was Bizet, so somebody introduced me to Bizet, and I told her, "Look, since you were people are uh, doing uh, Dudarshan, a serial for Dudarshan, so uh, have you ever thought about uh, about animation films?" She asked me, do you have any, any, any experience doing animation films? Then I told her, look, I don't have that, but I have uh, plenty of common sense. So, and I can draw well. So I'm sure that uh, I'll be able to handle a, mm, a project like, uh, like that. Mm. Uh, then she asked me, the, okay, uh, uh, give us a kind of, uh, you know, synopsis, mm. uh, project synopsis. Uh, let us talk to Dudarshan. If they agree, we'll try. Mm -hmm. So that's how it all started. Mm -hmm. When I left Target, that time Dudarshan again uh, asked the same thing. That since you people uh, didn't have any experience in animation filmmaking, mm -hmm. uh, even before you submit uh, a pilot, mm -hmm. which is mandatory that time, mm -hmm. uh, you show us a two-minute clips. Mm -hmm. To prove that you can you can, can do, do it, it. Mm. so um, while i was in target in 1985 uh, around uh, puja time that is october november i made that two minutes clip we shot on 16 mm using a bolex camera mm. and uh, we submitted and when it was approved by dudarshan and they Formally, uh, finally asked us to submit a mm -hmm. pilot. I left it. You doing books uh, side by side, or yes, yes. you were continuing yes. that on the side. Uh, I started my first book. I I, I wrote an illustrated that was uh, the scarecrow. The scarecrow. Uh, yeah. I did one handmade book with yeah. a black and white illustration and it was lying in my studio. I never thought it would ever get ever mm. published. Mm. So when Gita came, so I just casually I showed her. She and uh, Gita's husband came to my studio just to meet. Mm. And I, I I showed them, I said that this is something I have done. Just for the heck of it. And they loved it. Mm. They do, and then instantly agreed to to publish it. Yeah. So this and was the this, this it was, was the... it was in two thousand one. Mm. Two thousand one. Yeah. It took me one more year to illustrate, find mm. to produce the final illustrations. Mm. And by two thousand three, mm. 
it was published. Yeah. I think 2002 and, and then 2003, mm. I got the Bratislava, you know, special nomination or whatever. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So what Gita had seen first was just like a, a small book, uh, which is... It it was a, the... we, can, we can call it a dummy, but it's not a dummy. dummy. It's a handmade okay. book. It was a handmade yeah. book. Yeah. And I just made a... Because that that idea came in. I was there in my mind for quite exactly. some time. Yeah. It took, me, uh, it took me probably three days to write it down. Yeah. And probably yeah. half a day to read yeah. it. Yeah. Can you but tell us one, a bit about what the book is about? Uh, uh, it is difficult. <laughs> the book is all about uh, a scarecrow. A scarecrow was the guarding that cornfield was fed up about his daily routine. He found himself He, he was seeking freedom from that mm -hmm. daily responsibility. Mm -hmm. So one day he he stepped out of, he left. He simply gone. All day he was very happy with, you know, doing this and doing that, running here and there. And by the evening when sun was setting, he felt a bit nostalgic. And he, he wanted wants to go back mm. to his own cornfield. And when he reached there, when he, he see, uh, when he reaches there, he sees that, uh, uh, you know, this cornfield is ravaged by, by you know, these menacing looking crows. Mm. And then he decides that he would not he would not um, leave again mm -hmm. and look after those baby corns. Mm -hmm. his mm -hmm. life. So it is all about the responsibility and freedom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is the meaning of freedom? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, is there mm -hmm. is there anything called freedom? Mm -hmm. Probably not. Mm -hmm. Wherever you go the maximum we can stretch our boundaries. Mm. But we cannot mm. never ever be completely free. Yeah. Because a complete freedom is synonymous to total anarchy, mm. total chaos. Mm. 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 You know, freedom is not there in nature. Mm. The universe is, is bounded when it yeah. is is having some rules and regulation. Mm -hmm. so whenever we are asking for freedom, we should ask ourselves, but is there any freedom? Mm. When you were making, doing this, making this picture book, did you, uh, like that first dummy that you made, did you really think that it was specifically for a children's book or uh, was it just something no. that you wanted to put down? Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Even I don't believe uh, believe that way, even today. Yeah. Whatever, what, whatever book is there, this one aspect is a children's book. Mm. It can it it can have the other layers. Mm. You know, where the grown ups, adults, you know, different kind of people can right. can relate to. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So a book is always better yeah. if it has many many layers. Mm, mm, mm. And how similar was your final artwork to the first dummy uh, or the story? Uh, did it change creating the final mm. uh, book? Okay. You know, my dummy is so precise and I hate <laughs> <laughs> I hate afterthought. Now, even there is one line I have to cut and pay, repaste in my dummy. That that makes me furious. So all my editors, all my publishers, the first thing I tell them: please do not, do not send me a, a draft text. Mm. 
give me a final edited text okay. so right. that I can make a dummy. Hmm. And if you compare my dummy with final illustrations, there's hmm. simply a transformation of from a black and white to color. Hmm. 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 Everything, the space, uh, elements, hmm. the scale, the size, everything was decided while I'm doing the dummy. Hmm. Now, this scarecrow book, of course, I never uh, thought that it would ever be printed. Hmm. So I was uh, doing it. Hmm. But, uh, because I loved it. Yeah. No. Hmm. Uh, but otherwise, whatever book, and I, I prefer to design my own book. Right. No. Uh, the book I illustrated, I prefer to design myself. Hmm. Hmm. Because the space division and, uh, uh, you know, flow of text yeah. um, uh, is very important. Hmm. I feel very uncomfortable with somebody else is taking decision. Right. Um, you know, so uh, even this uh, Kushanji's final final book, which was published in 2014, hmm. then we the season. Hmm. It the word was placed in the right position in the dummy. Right. You now, what you see, the final printed book mm. is actually a transformation of, mm. of the dummy. Mm. 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 And of course, everything is uh, hand drawn, hand painted. Yes. Uh, yes. There is no, uh, uh, there are no, uh, there's no cut and paste from here and there uh, in all these books. No, it is not there, except except one illustration in that book. I had to correct it digitally. So what? Uh, so do you also kind of switch between mediums? Uh, what? What you you use? All the time. Yeah. All the time. Mm. So uh, you uh, this was the first book you wrote and illustrated, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and then you continued to write and illustrate your own. Not many. One or yeah. two, I created, uh, you know, 2009, the second book was mm. after that book. Mm. So almost uh, seven years. Mm. This my second book uh, you know, was published. And that was, uh, that was the first book of Ravan Remini series. Mm. I created these two characters. Right. And that's a very unique, unique book. There's only one line text. Mm. Whatever you give comes back to you. Mm. There's no other text. Yeah. And every double page spread has this one line. Mm. And with each line, these two characters are doing different, different things. Yes. <laughs> no. So it is called whatever you give. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah. 2000, after that, I think two, three years after that, yeah. I published there. Yeah. The second book of this series, yeah. Uh, now I'm working during this uh, uh, pandemic the lockdown. <clears throat> I'm working another mm. book, it is a tribute to my hometown, Chandanagar. And uh, this is again a kind of documentation, uh, trivia for children, anecdotes, my memory mm. about, mm. Um, about that. Uh, Nice, well planned, yeah. good, and, well done. Yeah, yeah. So, is this a this is a picture book or is it a? This is a picture book. This is an entirely picture book. Okay. Uh, and I'm doing it uh, digitally. Okay, right. So, uh, so usually, what is your process like uh, when you're say conceptualizing a book? Uh, do you write first or? Is I'm a visual it person. I'm a visual person. Yeah. You know, my, uh, you know, my idea comes visually. Hmm. You know, these characters first came, they are doing this, they are doing that. You know, the, the Chandan Nagar, these visuals, you know, hmm. these, uh, hmm. these lanes, buildings, Ganga, boats, hmm. all those visuals, imageries were actually flooding uh, hmm. in my mind. Okay. Hmm. So, text I add later on. That's why, I mean, while, while I'm adding text, it doesn't take much time. Right. In, in a couple of days, this story is written. 
Hmm. But to illustrate the entire book, hmm. yeah, it is hell of a lot of time yeah. required. Yeah. yeah. With uh, uh, this Chamanagar book, uh, I the initial the history the, there are few bullet points because after all, I'm working on a history of a place. Hmm. So I uh, I note down how it all started. And when mm. it was doing outings with times and all those yeah. things, yeah. so there is a little bit of uh, research I had to do. Mm. Um, otherwise, the entire book came to me as a visual, mm. and then I wrote that uh, whatever text, mm. and it has a parallel parallel narrative. Mm. There is one character, mm. and with its companion, one cat and a dog. I'm very yeah. really fond of uh, these two creatures. And uh, these characters has, uh, I mean, it, it this character narrates it narrates its own st story through speech verbs. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. and then body text which tells the history of that place. It is the kind mm -hmm. of you know narration goes on about mm -hmm. the history and whatever it is. Mm -hmm. um, so there are two parallel texts. Mm. Um, narration is going in that book, mm. Mm. but mainly it's a that is a picture book. Mm. So do you have uh, do you do thumbnails? Uh, once you mm. sort of have all the visuals together, you uh, you do thumbnails and then make your you know dummy. Uh, is that mm. the way you work? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Before making dummy, I always make a thumbnail. Mm. See the flow. Yeah. Mm. Flow of the entire book. Right. Mm. And then I start doing dummy. Mm. Mm. After that, the final yeah. 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 And uh, in terms of uh, your choice of medium, uh, do you, I like you, your, uh, you, like I said before, you keep switching between styles. So, what is it that, uh, you know, how do you decide? Uh, what? Well, I mean, see, I mean, there, here's one point because <coughs> even in our time also, people were insisting that you should, you must uh, develop your own style, right? But later I realized that what they are actually referring to is not a style, mm. it is a kind of, uh, you know, identity, a signature. And that is nothing but a mannerism. Mm. Okay. Now, what I believe, the creation is far more important than the creator. Mm. That is a firmly belief. Mm. Because look at our 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 tradition. All our uh, you know uh, uh, painters, illustrators. Though I mean, Indian uh, uh, Indian tradition is a tradition of visual tradition is a tradition of illustration. Mm. Mm. All our, right from the temple uh, sculptures to all our murals, Ajanta, mm. you know, all Mughal miniatures, uh, Jain manuscript, uh, Pal dynasty, everything, everything, uh, mm. it, uh, everything is illustration. Mm. Okay. Mm. Now, we really don't know who these people were. Mm. Yeah, uh, all those artists are anonymous mm. but still we enjoy there's no there's no problem enjoying enjoying their work mm. so i think the illustration is important the not illustration the creation creation is more important mm. than knowing the creator mm. on the contrary if you know the creator you may not enjoy the enjoy the creation in its true sense okay you get biased yeah. It is, oh, it's a great work done by so and so. Mm. So I deliberately try to hide my identity, mm. and I hate repeating myself. Mm. Mm. So whenever there is a there is a manuscript, I read the manuscript and try to understand what kind of mm. style I should develop mm. from book to book. I try to change my, and deliberately I try, 
to change the style. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Uh, that is it. Yeah. But then sometimes, uh, I guess, like you said, the signature gets left behind, even if you're not trying sometimes to... So after all, I'm the same person. Yeah. <laughs> so some expression will show through. Right. That is one. So, but for that, it's not a, it's not a signature that kind that from 10 mile distance, you can say yeah. that, oh, it's done by so-and-so. Right. You have to really go through it and find out, okay, it looks like done by... Hmm. Mm. Mm. Right. Somebody yeah. we have mm. seen before. Mm. So my, uh, um, you know, I always try to take a back seat. Yeah. Mm. You know, take a back seat in the minute to hide my identity. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. So, uh, Sudhuta, what was it like working on uh, the Delhi book? Uh, I mean, if you look at the book, you can... Uh, it really comes across as, you know, somebody who's really enjoyed the, you know, there's, I mean, Delhi is a very beautiful city and, you know, the park, I mean, one of the best things about Delhi is its parks and uh, so, um, what was it like working on that book? Uh, how long did you take and <laughs> all the well, usual you know, this, this, is, this is very interesting because this is a text I illustrated it twice. As in uh, two yeah. times? <laughs> two times. Two times. The first time in 1990, okay. when uh, Kushanji was looking for an illustrator for this day, mm. actually he was maintaining a diary on mm. nature. Mm. And finally, the publisher wanted to publish it. Mm. So I was the person who was assigned this, this book. That is the first time. That is the time when a full color uh, book on nature is a, was a too much of risk for any public. Mm. But by the way, this uh, Pramod Kapoor of Roli Books, he he uh, agreed to do that. Mm. But it is not a f- not fully colored. Mm. It was partially colored, partially mm. black and blue. Mm. And it was pu- it was published. Just after release of Gaiwala mm. in 1990, mm. I was a bit uh, number one. I was not that experienced that time. Mm. Uh, a, B. I thought that uh, though the production was good, uh, Holy Books did a good job, good yeah. production. But you know, half color and half black and white uh, was something I was not very happy. Mm. So after, uh, say, almost uh, around 2009, mm. 2009 um, I told uh, Mala, Kushwan's daughter. Right. Uh, she was, uh, she was uh, one uh, chief editor of National Book Trust. Mm. I knew her since those days. Mm. So I told her that if Kushwan ji agrees, I would like to like to illustrate once again this book mm-hmm. and instantly this Harper Collins people they agreed mm-hmm. so I started working on uh, on this book since uh, 2010 mm-hmm. yes, did a lot of uh, studies mm-hmm. panoramic sketches and then color sketches mm-hmm. and then final dummy Hmm. And the final registrations. Hmm. It took me four years. Okay. You know, from 2010, hmm. and it finally, finally, job was over 2014. Hmm. And I think it was published in 2015 or probably at the end of 2014. Yeah. Hmm. Kushwanji, I think it was 2015, this, because Kushwanji couldn't see the published book. Hmm. It would be only few. Final. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, he died uh, one year before the publishing of the okay. book. Yeah. Hmm. I think the book was published in 2015. You, so did you? You must have taken a lot of photographic references and done many trips, you know, to Lodi Garden and all that. <laughs> to see the working with photograph is something absolute taboo. 
Okay. For us. Hmm. You know, we were trained to draw from life. And there's one thing is what I'm going to tell you. It is good for the beginners hmm. because hmm. you know while we are sketching or drawing, it happens in two stages. First thing, hmm. mentally we convert this what we are seeing a real three D world. Hmm. Convert it into a virtual three D world. Hmm. All three dimension x y z dimensions we scale, and z dimension is all obviously for hmm. painting or illustration is virtual. Okay. and then we put it on paper mm. there is a second stage mm. if you click a photograph your first faculty doesn't develop mm. you remain handicapped mm. and those people particularly the beginners mm. who uh, who are working with photograph mm. they later on they can't can't draw from life mm. even to fire their imagination mm. they have to take the help of photograph mm. Mm. so while i was doing this this uh, uh, this book i did take photo reference at mm. the later stage when mm. i was doing the final rendering mm. but most of the time i picked i have i, I picked uh, flowers mm. and i draw from from a real flower mm. from nature mm. Mm. and sometimes what happens they you know most of the illustration they take almost uh, uh, you know two weeks time right more than that more than time right. so uh, i needed some photographs for the later pay, uh, later stages of the yeah. final final rendering mm. mm. but otherwise i was working from from nature yeah so you lived through those seasons painting yes. and <laughs> that's why that's why it took 4 years 4 years, four right. years. yeah mm. yeah that's amazing all those summer flowers all those monsoon flowers you know yes. winter flowers yes. and i think you also continue to uh, do that in your painting work right uh, uh, you're also you continuing to work as a painter uh, yeah so painting also I, i i i i do i draw simple i paint simple things mm. you know simple things simple things of life mm. you know this uh, modernism and post modernism are too complicated mm. 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 i simply mm. don't handle those things mm. Mm. i'm a simple person i draw simple things right <laughs> so there's there's one more book i remember um I mean, I have a copy of that book, and I, uh, I think so amazingly done. This is a this is a folk tale that you illustrated for Katha. Um, it's called the story of Shan Shanmiang. Shan Shan Shanmiang. Uh, so what I really there's that surprise double spread in the in the middle of the book. In the middle, yeah, there's yeah. a. So uh, how how is it like? How, I mean. folk tales have been illustrated for so long how do you kind of uh, how do you kind of take folk tale and make it you know exciting like this uh, you know i was not very familiar about the naga tribe mm-hmm. so th- for that book i had to read lot of lot of uh, you know find lot of material to be but luckily i found that time i was teaching in art college mm. and luckily i found one naga student there okay so i consulted him mm. and he told me and he also gave me some uh, some reference material mm. and it is very complicated i mean there this society naga society is complicated pretty complicated because okay. you know, so many tribes and every tribes have their own um, you know own things mm. so if you are wrong with those uh, you know codes mm. then then you are wrong you you are not representing those those mm. tribes mm. so this one is about the uh, about the thank thankul giant yes. thankul tribe mm. so this boy helped me a lot 
Okay. And then, according to the description, I I drew this huge thangkul giant. Uh, it's a many fold, uh, gate fold actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so what, was, was that being, center uh, spread your idea? The it uh, was it was uh, it was uh, initially uh, it was my idea, but Katha uh, um, people were not very uh, very. Uh, mm, you know, very uh, convinced that it mm. could be produced. Mm. So they consulted the printers and they mm. said, no, okay, we'll, we'll print this with fold separately mm. and, then, and then we'll, we'll bind it together. Mm. Mm. So it was basically, it was my, my idea. It was not there. It was, yeah, it was there in, in dummy. Yeah. And mm. there uh, Gita actually said, okay, we have to consult the printer. Mm. Okay, we'll see how we are going to some questions from uh, uh, yeah. Squibby as in uh, Lavanya has kind of sent me a couple of questions that uh, mm. people would like to know. Um, mm. So what is, um, so uh, Lavanya has asked, what do you think has changed in the illustration field in India since you began? A lot. Yeah. Lots. See, in our time, everything was very simple to the focus, one big, one big image mm. and other supporting images. Mm. What happened now is very complicated. Mm. You know, the composition is complicated, too many focal points, because our perception about aesthetics has changed. Mm. You know, the time is, we are living in a different time altogether. Mm. So the, in one word, I can say that today's visual expression is highly compli complex, mm. you know, highly complex, highly complicated, and sometimes chaotic. Mm. But in our time, it is not like that. Mm. It's very simple, easy going. Yeah. Mm. It's also uh, like the the amount of the, how much people consume visuals has also changed right everything is uh, it's like a in uh, uh, there's the internet there's, there's there are many more books so uh, has like even the, the onslaught of visuals has really increased uh, over the years right because we have we have means to do that now yeah. In our time, there's, there's not so many. I mean, we never had this kind of. Yeah. I mean, it is unimaginable yeah. that we are thinking like this. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder what that will do to memory uh, in, you know, in the next. That I realized, that I realized when I was, uh, you know, teaching in college. Uh, I, I was teaching in college since 1998 till 20, 2015. It was a good 18 years. And I could see, you know, batch by batch, mm. how, what you are, you are referring at, mm. how it is going down. Mm. Initially, around 98, 2000, till 2004, those students were not that computer savvy. Mm. Okay. Mm. So they could draw very easily. Mm. They could imagine very easily. And at the end of it, by around 2014, when everybody was born with a with a uh, with a um, smartphone in hand, so this generation, they are, you know, everything goes over their head. They lack, you know, they lack concentration. And I was so frustrated at the end of it. But I simply I couldn't I couldn't interact with them. It's, it's so difficult mm. to explaining things to them. Mm. So by 2015, I said now it's time that I must say it is, it's the end end of it. Mm. Uh, so what you are saying? Yes, technology has done that to us. Mm. Mm. We are becoming more of a zombies. <laughs> Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is there is there a project that you 
you have in mind which you know you would love to kind of do uh, a dream project hmm now uh, i am fully in painting okay whatever time is left i thought i'll 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 do things what i'm trained for okay so i'm doing paintings i'm not doing illustrations anymore mm-hmm. okay i might do like this book i'm doing now might do one or two but mainly i'm doing illustrations and also murals mm-hmm. i did a huge 800 800 square feet mural mm-hmm. at hyderabad that mm-hmm. was that was mm-hmm. two two years back 19 mm-hmm. you know sorry in uh 2018 mm. uh 10 feet by 80 feet long mm. so i when i'm asking about the dream project my dream project is i would like to do a huge mural on the wall you know if i would get a project like that then i think i'll be very happy <laughs> probably the entire ramayan Okay. You know, yeah. The entire Ramayan, yeah. entire Mahabharat, something mm-hmm. epic. You know, big, mm-hmm. huge. Mm-hmm. I would like to do a mural. That's yeah. me. Thank you so much for spending so much time. <laughs> It is my pleasure. I'm very uh, lucky. I'm honored. With us. Uh, I'm honored. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. We've, uh, yeah. we really wanted a chance to kind of uh, showcase your work uh, to uh, to a lot of uh, illustrators who might not have seen it before uh, because unlike you know the generation now you're not on instagram you're not on facebook much uh, so uh, yeah <laughs> and i also don't don't upload my work yeah yeah which is oh, really, uh, really yeah really. right so uh, yeah thank you so much again chudoda And, okay. Uh, so one, thank you yes. for having me. I mean, it's a good. I'm honored. Really, I'm honored. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.